Hey, this is Antti from Neonta. Uh, today we're going to discuss about uh, creating states, uh, creating components in React Studio and creating components with multiple states. So this is what we're going to build, this kind of simple simple app uh, which has a this kind of login component here that has few different states actually it has two different states not few but two different states states so if i log in it shows the username and picture and when you do the logout it will just show, show this login and user kind of user icon here so let's start working with that one i'll just create new project All that user states and change the base format to iPad. For this app, we need uh, we need one component and we need two screens. So this could be the main main screen, and next one could be the login screen, and this would be the log in log out component and this is what we're going to work with so let's go to component we're not going to add a background because this will be transparent so i click no it just change the size a little bit and we can just start start building this component by uh, adding a few text labels and then the icon so I will drag this onto the foreground group here, and this is the text uh, text element which will which I will use for login. And if you want to align it from the right, and then we need to import the user icon. Just draw it like this and align it from the right, not from the left. And also make the alignments for the text. I think something like minus 30 points from left. And this, so, okay, I guess this is this is okay. And by the way, then, then we need the interaction. When user clicks the login, we need to add interaction to go to and login. And then we start adding the second state. Just click add state. And here we have another st state for the, for the component. I can just drag another text element. I could also dub, maybe I, I'll just duplicate. Duplicate this so I don't have to remake those. So duplicate. And this will be user pick and this will be username and I can just drag these onto state 2 so so this is the uh, right here something so you know that it changes so this is state 1 and this is state 2 I need to take away the tap interaction from state 2 and maybe change the user picture so that it actually shows some kind of placeholder picture yeah and then we want to show the show the real username here so we need to create few data slots uh, data slots are like global variables and I'll start by adding data slot username and default value can be John do and we need another data slot for keeping track uh, on the state if user has locked in or not I can call it slot locked in and default value is zero which means not locked in and one would be locked in 
and then go to back to the component and select the username and go to data tab and just bind this to the data slot username so it will show the username in this text field here then go back to the back to the project map first we're going to build the login screen this is simple just add a key line put it in the middle and we need a few fields and then we need a button this is not like real login to anywhere but it, this is a placeholder login align center to key line like this I can call this change the value here and call this field username This. And this is the interesting part. We're going to add an interaction here, select the login, and it will at least it will have at least three three interactions. The first interaction is to save the username username to data slot. So I will just go select the save data data slot and set and the username, and then we're going to say save the field username content there and click another one and this is where we're going to change the value in in the data slot called locked in we're going to change that value from 0 to 1 and lastly we need interaction to go to the main screen so this is pretty simple. First, save username, then change the data slot value in locked in data slot, and then go to main screen. And then let's go to main screen. This is the screen. And I think we want to add a navigation bar. Just click it here from here. No back button. And I can just drag this component that we created, put it in for account group and drag it on top of there and align it so that it's not from left but it's from the right side. So it work, will work on every screen size like this. And then we need a button for logging out. I'll just add a button here. Move it from bottom and from left out like this and this is actually it doesn't do anything else it just changes the value in data slot locked in and it changes the value to zero to zero like this and then this is the most important part I have the component here so I can use this for just checking that how the how it looks on different states but I want to bind the state to real data so I go to data and here's the component state and I can just simply use the data slot lock in and this will be because this will be zero if user is not locked in and it will be one if user is locked in and the states are just uh, the state index starts from zero so zero is the first state and one is the second state so if the value in data slot changes, the state in this component will change. And last, I think we are going to add some mock-up mock content here just to make it look nicer. Five, pretty. Headline. This duplicate it, paste text and copy some, copy some more and zoom in there. And 
Yeah. and open it in browser and here we have the app in browser as you can see the component shows the first state here when I'm not logged in if I click login let's test this click login okay and it shows shows my uh, username here and it has changed the state state to locked in and if I click log out this will change the data slot value which is linked to this component state and it will it should change it back to back to first state and it did so this is like really simple simple type of a component that that has just two states but you can have infinite number of states for component and you can have states also for entire screen so just click add state and, uh, you can delete state here okay hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching